Hero device is an interesting device in and of itself. Uh, it has the simple component, the, 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 we call it the arterial inflow graft. This is the part of the graft that gets hooked on to an artery, like any other dialysis graft. It's the inflow side of the graft. It has this um, bridging point, we call it the titanium connector, uh, and that's how the graft, the inflow component and the outflow component are married together. It's actually quite easy to use and, and joining those two things, and it tends to be pretty strong. This is the venous outflow component. Um, it's a nitinol supported tube, uh, and at the end it has a very uh, visible radio opaque marker where you can tell where the, the end of the outflow component uh, sits, and we recommend it being in the center of the right atrium. So this device is fully implanted. Um, it takes a, a modest amount of endovascular skills to be able to implant it uh, and to plant it, and there's some tricks that we've learned over the years to really implant it safely and easily. Whatever the venous access port is, uh, and is in often a small tunnel under the skin, usually somewhere on the shoulder or the collarbone. Um, and, and how you place that actually is, a, there's some subtlety to that to make sure it fits in a place that's convenient for the patient uh, and not gonna be subject to kinking or other things. And so there's a little bit of learning. Um, but once that device is implanted um, and we've chosen our arterial inflow site, usually somewhere in the arm, brachial or axillary artery, uh, we've pre-established the arterial tunnel and these devices are really met into a small incision on the shoulder somewhere, and it's simply by putting these two devices together couples the arterial inflow and the venous outflow. And as you can see, very simple coupling mechanism and uh, very robust.